number one. Here are the stories everyone's talking about. The new iPhone has landed and it was a worldwide invasion, sweeping the globe from Australia to Anaheim. iPhone hat. iPhone food. iPhone. iPhone. Definitivamente. Apple's been busier than Lady Gaga's wardrobe department filling more than two million pre-orders. Translation, thousands of people thumbing their way through the streets like eyes on it. At number two, get out the vote. Homer Simpson is the latest A-list celebrity, that's A for animated, to insert himself into presidential politics. Why do we have to choose our leaders? Isn't that what we have the Supreme Court for? And Homer's choice? Thank you for voting for Mitt Romney. You may now see his tax return. Mark your ballot for the season premiere of The Simpsons on Fox one week from Sunday. Well, at least I got a steady job. No! Who knew Homer was even a registered voter? Well, he's now very involved because he's concerned about that soda ban. At number three on the list, the campaigning has begun for a new season of Dancing with the Stars pairings. Number three on the list, Broadway Boogie. Dancing with the Stars champion Apollo Ono and partner Karina Smirnoff took to no less than Times Square to rally people behind them in advance of Monday night's big premiere on ABC. George, it's going to be amazing. So we're going to get everybody here to vote, hopefully for us. At number four, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. You could definitely feel the love in this just-released video of Robin Roberts in her hospital room as her theme song set the tone for the beginning of her bone marrow transplant. Surrounded by her sisters and friends, including ABC's Diane Sawyer and Sam Champion, the Good Morning America co-host sang and prayed. Later, her sister's stem cells were transplanted, and now the battle with her rare blood disorder begins. I will now wait and anxiously watch see what happens. The next seven to ten days will be crucial as doctors wait to see if the stem cells find a home. Number five on the list. The Emmys are Sunday night and no doubt we'll be seeing lots of fall colors. Appropriately because Saturday at 10.49 a.m. Eastern Time marks the autumnal equinox, the official start of fall. That's the date in the northern hemisphere when it's exactly 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of night and the nights keep getting longer, which means more TV watching which means more award shows on TV. See how I brought it back to the Emmys? And now you're caught up and clued in on the top of the list.